Good morning. Thank you guys all for joining us today. Uh, I want to first welcome our electors, uh, elector alternates, and their families as we prepare to certify Oklahoma's electoral votes for the president and the vice president of the United States. So welcome to the Capitol today. During this recent election, Oklahoma saw historic voter turnout. Actually, 1.56 million Oklahomans turned out uh, to vote for the president and the vice president. More than any other election in uh, Oklahoma history. So thank you to Oklahomans for turning out to vote. The old record was 1.4 million set back in 2008. We beat that by almost 7%. So a lot of you in this room had a lot to do with that. Thank you for your, for your efforts. Uh, even with an increase in voter participation, uh, the state was able to provide Oklahomans with an accurate election count within 24 hours of every single race in the state of Oklahoma. <laughs> I've been on calls with, with other governors and we just can't figure out why it's taken these other states two and three weeks and a month. Uh, they need to take some hints from our electoral uh, process. So I'm so proud of, of Oklahoma's secure election system and how quickly we receive the accurate results. Uh, this is not an easy task and I would like to thank the election board, uh, all of our volunteers, uh, all of our poll workers, the local employees, that uh, state employees that work so hard to ensure every election is conducted smoothly. Uh, with this being said, Oklahomans made their vo voice heard on November 3rd. And now it's time to call the appointed electors from the Republican Party to the signing table to cast their electoral votes for President and Vice President of the United States. So when I call your name, I'd like you to come forward and you will sign six different times. And so our first elector, uh, A.J. Ferrati, elector at large, please come forward. And I know I recognize the families uh, that were here. And AJ, you've got your three children here skipping school, I guess. It, it, it took us extra long to get to school this morning. It snowed, <laughs> right? So they'll, they'll go here just a little bit. Wonderful. This is part of this is uh, this is a great part of the process. They're probably learning more to, more here. This is fantastic. I'm glad you brought them. I think so. Grace's uh, class, I think, is watching at school. So okay. We've got Grace. And hey, Grace's <laughs> class. <laughs> we got Clara back there and Wynn, and so they're they're here to learn about how Good. this thing really works this morning as well. Good. Well, and I've got my my seventh grade daughter is here to watch as well. So she's in the back with the first lady. So welcome, Piper. <laughs> Thank you, AJ. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, would Caroline McLarty, elector at large, please come forward?
Grace, is it your government class that's watching today? Your history class. It's excellent. Thank you, Carolyn. Would Rhonda Villamont Smith from First Congressional District please come forward? Come on. Fighting first, baby. Fighting first. Thank you. Lonnie Lou Anderson from the second congressional district. I'm done. You're done. I'm done. I was going to sign this stuff right there. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. God bless America and free and for our president and all our leaders. Amen. Thank you. And thank everybody. Else. Thank you, Lana. <laughs> okay, Chris Martin from the 3rd Congressional District, please come forward. And Mark, do we know what time every other state, or some of them do it in the morning, some of them do it in the afternoon, but every state is? By, by statute, they each set it at a different time, but it has to be today. Okay. <clears throat>
Thanks. Thank you, Chris. Would Steve Fair from the 4th Congressional District please come forward? And I heard uh, one person ask, why six different copies do we sign? So two of those copies go to the Oklahoma Secretary of State's office. Two copies go to the National Archivist. Thank you so much. Thanks, Steve. And Linda Hubbard from the 5th Congressional District, please come forward. Thanks, Linda. So two copies go to the National Archivist and one copy to Vice President Pence's office as the President of the Senate, and one copy uh, to the Chief Judge, the Federal District Court here in Oklahoma, Judge DeGiusti. As governor of the state of Oklahoma, I certify and confirm that all seven electoral votes from the state of Oklahoma will be cast for Donald J. Trump and Mike Pence. <laughs> Secretary Bingman, will you please attest to the signatures? Governor, I attest that 
Oklahoma seven electoral votes have been cast for President Donald J. Trump and Vice President Michael Pence. Thank you, Secretary of State. Thank you, Secretary Bingman. Okay, with this, uh, they're going to start working on putting them in envelopes. And while they're working on that, before I call the electors back up to sign the envelopes, we'll open it up to uh, the media for a few questions regarding this process. Governor, do you acknowledge that Joe Biden won uh, the general election? Yes. Well, well, once she puts everything in the envelope that uh, we will uh, call the electors back up, we have to uh, sign the outside of an envelope for those to be uh, sent off. Okay, let me uh, present a certificate to all the uh, electors. I'll call you up one by one and uh, we can take a photo together and I'll present you with uh, the state of Oklahoma from the election board certificate of election. So AJ Ferrati, please come forward. Carolyn McClarty. Rhonda Valamont Smith. Lonnie Lou Anderson. Chris Martin. Steve Fair. And Linda Hubbard. Alternates, if the alternates want to come up for a photo, do you want to come on up? All of us, or?
Would it, would it be too much to ask for all of them to come up and just one photo of everybody? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. Yeah. Can we get all the alternates? Well, yeah, and we've done yeah. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Thank you. Mayor John. Mayor I think it might be the last one, but yeah. Um, We can get all the alternates and all the all the um, original Lakers up here just for that means you too, Rhonda. Yeah. Everybody's going. Yeah, everybody. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I thought it was all the <laughs> together. Oh, okay. I can use it. I can sit over here. <laughs> 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 Come on, I'm really not all that tall, but I'll stand on my tippy toes. So. <laughs> no, I'm okay. I'm just going to pull this back for a All right, everybody. If you'll look right here at me first. Okay. I know. I'm sorry. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, I'd like to invite uh, all the electors to join us back at the desk uh, to sign the sealed envelopes holding the six certificates of votes. So I'll call your name and you can come back up. Uh, A.J. Ferrati. Thank you, AJ. Thank you. <laughs> Caroline McLarty.
Thank you, Carolyn. Rhonda Vellamont Smith. Thank you. Thanks, Rhonda. Thank you. Lonnie Lou Anderson. Thank you, Lonnie. <clears throat> Chris Martin. Thanks, Chris. Steve Fair.
Thanks, Steve. Linda Huggard. Linda. Well, thank you all again for being here today as we confirm all seven of Oklahoma's electoral votes to be cast for Donald J. Trump and Mike Pence. And I appreciate all the electorals, uh, the alternates for fulfilling your duty to your fellow Oklahomans in this very important process. And that concludes our um, ceremony today. Thank you for being here.